Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Text Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about how to check GSM for an uneven shaped fabric without cutting it. Actually, I have taken this fabric sample for checking the GSM. Actually, by seeing the sample only, everyone can understand. It is very tough to understand, very tough to understand the GSM of the fabric if we don't cut it. Actually, it's a multiple step process. Please watch the video till the end so that to get the complete information. For this, we required four different tools. Number one, A4 sheet. Number two, measuring scale. Number three, pencil. And finally, the measuring, measuring balance. Step one, we need to measure the area of the A4 size sheet. Actually, while checking, I found the length is 29.6 centimeter and width is 21.1 centimeter. So, area of the A4 sheet, we can multiply length into width and we got 624.56 square centimeter. This, we are, yeah, this value, we need to keep it aside. Number two, we need to keep the uneven shaped fabric on the A4 sheet and we have to trace it. We have to trace it in a very patient way and please keep a weight on top of the uh, uh, fabric while tracing so that the fabric will not move while, while tracing it. Actually enough patience is required to trace this and perfection. How perfectly we are tracing this fabric on the A4 sheet will give the better accuracy of results. So, just how patiently we do will get a better accuracy results. Even the small bending portions needs to be considered while tracing it. This is the way you could be able to see actually lots of bends and curves and slanting portions are available on the fabric samples which you have which i have chosen it for checking the gsm so patiently please trace it and it's notes to be a perfect one Even the small bends are also needs to be considered to get the better accuracy of fabric GSM results. So now I'm removing the weight which I've placed on top of that fabric and I am completing the tracing work. This is the step number 2. Step number 3, I need to weigh the traced A4 sheet. Actually, I am just folding the A4 sheet. Actual total weight of the A4 sheet, I am just folding it and I am weighing it using the weighing balance and I have noted down the value. It is 4.58 grams now the step number four now we need to cut the traced area in the a4 sheet how perfectly we have traced the fabric sample in the same way even the while cutting the traced area also needs much patience and the perfection to get the better accuracy results. How we have considered the small bends and curves while tracing on the same way we need to consider while cutting the A4 sheet of the particular traced area.
Now I'm going to complete the cutting of the traced area. Now step 5, we need to weigh the traced area weight. I have folded the traced area and then I am weighing it using the weighing balance and I have noted down the value it is 2.12 grams. Now we have three values area of the FO sheet 624.56 square centimeter and weight of the FO sheet is 4.58 grams and even I have one more weight the weight of the traced area of the FO sheet it is nothing but the area of the weight of the I mean the the area of the fabric samples and its weight is 2.12 grams so just by applying the logic that is weight of the F4 sheet the 4.58 grams has the area of 624.56 square centimeter so in the same way the weight of the traced area is 2.12 grams so what is the area that particular traced area is getting accommodated just with the just with the cross multiplication how we do usually the the usual mathematics that we are going to apply it here so the area of the area of the traced area is equal to weight of the traced area divided by weight of the F4 sheet and it is multiplied by area of the F4 sheet that is 2.12 divided by 4.58 multiplied by 624.56 that is 0.4629 is multiplied by 624.56 that is so just by just by multiplying 46.4629 with 624.56 we get 289.11 square centimeter now we found out the area of the uneven shaped fabric so step number seven now we are going to weigh the fabric sample the uneven shaped fabric sample using the weighing balance so i have weighed that sample and i noted down 9.67 grams so again the same logic but it now with this calculation we'll get the gsm of the fabric sample now again we have three datas area of the uneven shaped sample area that we found out in the previous calculation that is 289.11 square centimeter and we have the weight of the uneven shaped sample that is 9.67 grams we all know what is one square centimeter that is the that is the uh, ultimate requirement of this task one one square centimeter i'm sorry one square meter is thousand ten thousand square centimeter hundred into hundred that is ten thousand square centimeter with the same logic now we are going to apply it here one more time the area of the sample 289.11 square centimeter weighs 9.67 grams so the ultimate requirement is area of one square centimeter one square meter that is 10,000 square centimeter that is the GSM of the sample just with the cross multiplication same technique that we are going to apply one more time so the GSM of the sample or the uneven shaped sample is equal to area of the one area of one square meter that is 10,000 divided by area of the sample that we found out in the previous calculation that is 289.11 and it is multiplied with weight of the sample 9.67 grams we are applying we are going to apply those values in the formula 10,000 divided by 289.11 multiplied by 9.67 that is 34.59 multiplied by 9.67 so just by the multiplication we get the GSM of the sample or the uneven shaped sample fabric that we took for this task is 334.48 or 335 GSM so but whenever we do such analysis we always need to have the analysis checkout so what the analysis checkout that I have made it here is I have punched that sample fabric which I have taken for checking the GSM and I have weighed the weight actual weight of the 
fabric sample. I have punched it and I weighed it using the weighing balance. It is 338 grams with the paper method. Actually, that the technique which I call for this uh, particular uh, particular GSM analysis technique is paper method. With this paper method, I got 335. Very closest readings. Maybe I was I was found a bit mistaken mistaken while tracing or cutting the sample. How perfectly you trace it and cut the sample will get the better accuracy in the results. I hope this video is very useful and informative. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next, next video. Till then, bye from your Money Text Guru. Bye-bye.